uh, sorry, optimize handling. And so that is actually the main topic of this course. Mm -hmm. And there are what two. What do you mean by handling? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Hello there. In my day job, I create control software for active suspension systems. And with this channel, I aim to demystify racetrack setup, whether that's for sim racing or any other form of motorsport. So the, the study of vehicle dynamics as a, as a topic uh, covers two aspects. The first aspect is mostly to do with um, com vehicle comfort, and that's mm -hmm. not really of interest to, to, this, uh, to this course, but uh, it's also important to understand the basic mm -hmm. uh, aspects to understand why um, passenger vehicles are set up the way they are. Mm -hmm. The second aspect is how to um, optimize the uh, vehicle, uh, sorry, optimize handling. And so that is actually the main topic of this course. Mm -hmm. And there are what two- What do you mean by handling? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So handling is, the, is how the vehicle reacts to the inputs of the driver. Okay. So imagine, you oh, drive, when, I, when I asked the vehicle to turn, when I turn right, left, right. it's supposed to turn left, then it's as simple as that. Uh, at low speeds, that's definitely the case. So if you're driving slowly and you turn, then the vehicle turns and there's nothing mm -hmm. too special about it. But the faster you, the faster you drive, then uh, it's not as simple as saying, well, I turn the steering wheel and the car will turn. The car will turn, but it's this, um, how, how much of a delay is there? to between when you turn and when the car turns and how <coughs> much of like an overshoot in 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 the in the in the car's reaction do, does it give you confidence so you're saying uh, handling basically means how the car responds to to the driver to the driver to, yeah. to yeah. your actions right okay. and um this is where terms like oversteer and understeer uh, come in um, yeah. we, we, will, we will cut it, go into this in, in, in detail later on, but it, it basically means like there are cases where if you're driving very fast, you turn the steering wheel, the car just doesn't respond to what you, what you ask for. You mm -hmm. just, the car just goes straight. So yeah. that, that's it's understeer. It's like when you're driving on ice. Right. Yeah. We did ice, ice karting. Ice karting. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter how your steering wheel works. Yes, yeah, right. depends on the, also on the, the on motion the, of the... Yeah, on the, on, the, um, um, on the load, uh, on managing, yeah, the load transfer. Mm. Uh, so by, yeah, to do, um, all together with how the car and the driver um, manages load transfer, mm. uh, the, the car might understeer, so it might push its nose, or it might oversteer, so the, the rear might come around, mm. like in drifting. Mm. So... All of that behavior together uh, is called handling. And um, car, yeah, racetrack setup is all about optimizing the handling mm -hmm. uh, so that the car goes around the track in the In the way possible. you want it to go. It, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And there are two aspects. So the first aspect is to try to maximize the traction of the vehicle. What do you mean traction? Oh, uh, grip. How it grip. glue on the floor. Right. <laughs> so that, that, that aspect helps all drivers. So the more grip you have, then the faster you can go around corners, the faster mm -hmm. you can accelerate and brake. Mm -hmm. And the second aspect is to get the um, reaction of the car, so the handling of the car, mm -hmm. exactly to the driver's um, preference. Okay. So this is to... So this, so the first part helps all drivers, and the second part is only helping you yourself or whoever it is that is going to drive the car. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm, I think. So okay. So far, so good. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, oh. So um, there are some trade-offs in suspension that it's worth talking about right away. So. Um, <clears throat> This is yeah quite uh, fundamental. So we'd like to have comfort, and we also want to have good road holding. Uh, but these two are kind of 
in conflict with each other. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, um, there's yeah, the trade-off that you can make between these two, how good that can be, is determined by how much suspension travel you have. So the more suspension travel you have available in the vehicle, mm-hmm. then the better you can make this road-holding comfort trade-off. So basically, uh, larger the suspension travel is, wider the range you have to, like, to configure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine if you if you didn't have any suspension, then the the trade-off between road holding and comfort would be really bad because okay. you'd just be bun- bouncing along on the tires. Yeah. Like That's on, the hobby on a, car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or or a go kart. Okay. Yeah. Um, so then. A, another important aspect to doing race, racetrack setup is aerodynamics. And although it's not a very large chapter, um, it's quite an important chapter, especially for, say, high downforce single seaters, mm-hmm. because that uh, aerodynamics is um, where such, ve- such racing cars like Formula One, they get most of their lap time from aerodynamics. So, But when you talk about... about uh race car setup, uh, are you going to do anything that related to how the car reacts yes. aerodynamic? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because... I thought you were only going to talk about like dampers or suspensions. Uh, in the first part of... Yeah, so the course is split into three parts. There's an introduction, so the fundamentals. Um, and then there's like advanced, um, advanced theory and uh, application. So until there, it's all to do with suspension setup and, and differentials and all the mechanical s- bits. But then the third course uh, is specifically dealing with high downforce race cars. And the reason is um, aerodynamics or downforce is an important source of lap time for, for, for these you know, high downforce race cars. But... The, tr- the first trade-off is the, the amount of drag that the, all the aero surfaces produce versus the downforce that they produce. So th- th- that's trade-off number one. So the bigger your wing, the, the more steep you, you have the wing, then mm-hmm. yeah, the more drag it creates. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so that's the first trade-off. But then the second trade-off is that to get very good aerodynamic performance, typically that comes at the cost of um, mechanical grip so, uh, or, or said simply, typically for a very, um, uh, for a car with a lot of downforce, you want the car to be very stiff so that the, that the wings, wing angles and so on do not change so much. But then this is actually really bad f- for um, getting the most grip out of the tire. So the third, the third course is act- specifically to... Um, to explain how to how best to optimize this trade-off between uh, between the aero the needs of the uh, generating aerodynamic downforce, but still uh, keeping yeah the best possible mechanical uh, setup for the for the car. Right. Yeah. Um, but then you mean you want to create a specific setup for a certain type of cars who have right. either more or less. Uh, downforce yeah so yeah, but indeed. the configuration of having more or less downforce is not part of the the purpose it is it is also. as well yeah okay. yeah yeah all right here yeah hi there the clip that you just watched is from a course called fundamental theory it's one of the courses that i created for racetracksetup.com to help sim racers and anyone else interested in motorsport master racetrack setup as quickly as possible if you're quick enough, this particular course might still be open for enrollment for free. If you enjoyed the video, then as the cheesy saying goes, like, subscribe and share.